I'm Andrew Clark, Vader and Allen. I'm the service director for the Forecourt Division. I was approached by the client back November last year, um, asking if we could decommission uh, an asset that was no longer of use to them. Uh, the client uh, came to us um, saying that they had an asset that they wanted to have a look at, uh, uh, taking it off their uh, asset list. Uh, and we arrived here uh, and, and they really wanted a company that could, could offer a one-stop shop. Uh, basically from uh, gas freeing and removing the fuel from the site to uh, electrical removal and uh, ultimately demolition. The first phase of the project was to remove all the residual fuel from site and carry out all of the tank cleaning and make it a hazardous free uh, site. The second phase is to dismantle the pipework and the tank structures. The third phase will be to break up the concrete and excavate and the fourth stage is to grade off the site, remove the site buildings and hand back to the clients. So my name is Wayne Bergen, my title is Project Manager for Adler and Allen. Um, I've been assigned for this job to oversee all the works from start to finish, make sure it's get it done safely. So basically phase one was to liquid free and gas free site. Each tank's got different product in, so we have petrol, uh, kerosene, diesel and gas oil. Uh, I think each tank holds about 5 million litres. So basically our process was to drain the tanks down, and take them off site to a waste site, and then we'd do a man entry inside, clean them from inside, make sure they're gas freed, ready for the demolition side. So far, since we came to site, I think we've taken about 250 to 300,000 litres of liquid off site. Um, in the pipeworks alone, there was 20,000 litres still to take away, so there was quite a high risk when we first arrived. So our uh, initial uh, sort of risk assessment of the site was how do we come along and make the site safe uh, so we can bring uh, further people to come to the site uh, and carry out the, the rest of the works. So once we emptied the tanks and cleaned the tanks, our next part of the project was then uh, empty all the fuel lines and gas feed the fuel lines. So to do that, we, we had to um, drop all the valves and sort of um, suck from each area to make sure they're gas freed and liquid freed. Like I said, we dropped all the valves to make sure we can sort of visually see them, there's, there's nothing coming out of them. Um, and then we'd put gas monitor ones up the pipework to make sure there's no gases inside them. We, we also do it sort of three weeks before the start of the demolition side. So any sort of vapours, especially va petrol vapours, will just vent away naturally. So if there was any um, gases or liquid in there, when they did start cutting into the pipework, there could be potential fire hazards really. So, we have to make sure that they're all gas-free and liquid-free before we start that process. So one of the key things was we would need compact electricians because we're working in a hazardous area. Um, also guys with confined space certification, first aid. Adrian Allen sent over some specialised electricians where we isolated the whole site. So when it comes to the demolition side, there was no live cables hanging about. Phase two was the demolition itself, um, basically start eating the tanks up from start to finish, working our way through the site. So this used to um, have one of the tanks in this area. This is the, we call a tank farm with a bunded wall around it. So basically um, we've taken that away now. So we'll do trial pits uh, for where the tank was to make sure there's been no contamination in the ground. So the key risks to, to make sure that um, the liquid and the, well, the liquid was taken away off site uh, safely to make sure we don't contaminate any of the ground around us, or being it into the ground or into the water course behind us, just to make sure we keep the noise levels to a minimum because we've got residential areas around where we are. So once we've completed the final phase on the oil terminal, uh, the last phase of the project will be to remove all of the pipe work from under the jetty, um, which has already been purged um, to make a safe environment. Once we get our sample analysis um, done and checked and approved to make sure there's no contamination, then we will then pass over the land back to the end client. Uh, we would be the experts because the, the, the fact that we can do it from start to finish it is the one-stop shop. We produce the CDMs um, at the start of the project, the risk assessments, uh, the method statements. We then bring in all the key services in-house and in-house trained to carry out all the relative parts of the job to get it completed. Uh, I think where we uh, really do uh, have that sort of USP is, is the, the can-do uh, attitude of, of the company 
and, and being able to um, bring all the experience that we have throughout the group uh, together to be able to deliver um, a multifaceted um, um, project.